Hey there guys, welcome back to another Pricey P Roblox Studio tutorial. Here you can see I have a red block on top of a wedge. And now if I run test and take a look, you can see the red block is sliding down the slope and it stopped. If I don't want the red block to slide down the wedge, what I can do is I can click on the block, go to the properties window, go to custom physical properties, check that box, expand it, you can go to the friction property and change it. Instead of the default 0.3 for plastic material, you can change it to 2, which is the maximum. And now if you run tests, you can see the block did not move at all. On the other hand, instead of raising the friction property, we're going to change it to 0.01. Let's now run tests and take a look. You can see it slides down even further than before. If we want it to go even further, we can add some friction weight here. So instead of 1, I can make it 100. Let's take a look. It goes even further, all the way till the end, and it fell off the, uh, the base plate. Next, let's take a look at how to script the friction property in Roblox. I have a blue block and a red block. We're going to put a script inside the red block and in your script, you're just going to enter the following lines. The red block, we're going to change its physical properties. On the first line here, we are declaring our red block and we have a bunch of constants. So everything is zero, density, friction, elasticity, all zero. Friction weight, we give it 100 and elasticity weight is just one. The focus here is the friction, we're setting it to zero, and the friction weight, we're setting it to 100. So it should make this part very light because there is no friction. Here we're creating the physical properties object, and then we assign it to the custom physical properties of the part. Our part is the red block. Let's now play test and take a look. So the blue block should be heavy compared to the red block. I'm going to try and push the blue block first to see if I can push it. So both of these blocks are the same exact size. The only difference is they are different in color and their physical properties are different because we use script to change the physical properties of the red block. Let's take a look. I'm going to push the blue block. I can barely move it. It's not moving. You see, it's not moving at all. Let me go and try and push the red block now. I can push the red block. Look at that, it's moving. And there you have it, guys. That's how friction properties work in Roblox. Hope you have enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we hope to see you again soon. Take care, everyone. Peace.